what's left over after a supernova collapses called the neutrino and the series called the universe. Ejection outward. The question became, what was this mysterious force driving the blast into space? Experts calculated that in order for a successful explosion to occur, one more ingredient was needed. They suspected something called neutrinos, ghostly energy-bearing particles that had been predicted but never observed. Astrophysicists believe that during a core collapse, when the electrons are pushed so close to protons in the nuclei of atoms that they combine to become neutrons, in the process, they release these tiny... Did you see that? That little tiny thing? Neutrino part. Whoa, it's going so fast I can't back it up. I'll back it up a little bit. Oops, that's too far. So close to protons in the nuclei of atoms that they combine to become neutrons. In the process, they release these tiny... See, that one had legs on it. Did you see it? The neutrinos are kind of interesting particles. They don't have any electric charge, so they don't interact with light. They only interact by what physicists call the weak force. And the weak force is aptly named. It means that these particles can go right through the Earth. They can go through long chunks of matter. So they're, they're like ghosts. They just go through things. Anyway, that was the neutrinos I was going to show you, and uh, uh, I'll put the link in the description box. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -mm.